Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all the geeks out there in Outer Kingdom, and welcome to another podcast. Podcast number three, I believe. Yes, number three. Um, today we have a special guest, Kuyabri. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> How's everybody? Can't complain, can't complain. How are you doing down south in the south of Africa? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's quite a chill day. Uh, almost started feeling sleepy for a bit, but um, but I'm good. I'm good. Uh, almost started good. feeling sleepy. That's not a good thing. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I I think it's it's a it's a good day to just relax, considering how busy the week has been. It's a good day to die, as they say, <laughs> as some say. Yes. Um, no, so yes, Kuya, as, as some of you may know, is a, a fellow content creator. He does, uh, he streams a lot of different kinds of games. Uh, you're also one of those those survival gamers, as far as I know. You're like the rest of us. You love playing survival games like Raft, for example. Um, yes, yes. So, so one thing I do have to ask is what, what what attracted you to playing survival games, and is Raft like the only survival game that you will play, or are there others that you you are, are looking at playing or have played before? Um, so. Uh, with regards to survival games, um, I, I just enjoy the whole, uh, basically, um, how creative can you be in surviving, and also the sort of like different styles that you um, that you can play the game where uh, you can be one of those uh, over prepared type of players or. Um, <laughs> that's me <laughs> same year same year underprepared yeah, under yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or even just like just make sure you have the bare minimum and get through it kind of <laughs> <laughs> see, how, see how long you can survive on the bare minimum <laughs> <laughs> uh, no that isn't even you Angel. you just go you go towards the most dangerous things and say hey hi <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, like uh, I'm sure you saw the Seven Days to Die video, <laughs> where she she brought those zombies to us, <laughs> which I, oh. in fashion, killed. <laughs> I'm but sure yes. when kids saw the shark, like, oh, shark, let me pet it. I think she did actually. <laughs> she she likes to go for the most dangerous things and just I I want to pet you. <laughs> She did it in Ark as well. She used to go for like I, I took her to the best spot in the world, and I took her to the T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Big mistake on her part. Uh, she was like, oh, "Let me go, and let me say hi," and the T-Rex was like, "Harm." Oh. <laughs> level level one character gone. <laughs> It's just one that I currently just wanted to um, go through it because uh, I kind of discovered it when it was free on itch.io, like sort of in development. And I, I kind of like the concept where you're just in the middle of the ocean. I like being around the, in the ocean. Um, <laughs> so Subnautica is your kind of game too then? Yes, I have. I'm <laughs> still waiting to play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an epic um, game as well. <laughs> uh, and then when I saw that it officially got released, and then uh, on Steam, and then with the price tag and everything, um, I then found out it actually comes with a storyline uh, kind of thing. You find clues to look for other survivors where. Um, where they may have vanished or whatever mm. uh, and that kind of just got my attention I wanted to see how, uh, how far I can go mm. uh, but I think overall Raft would be best as a multiplayer kind of thing because at some point it 
does get a bit time consuming just managing everything on your own. <laughs> and especially if you ended up building a pretty big one. <laughs> <laughs> like Used to like constantly saving time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that as well. <laughs> um, and then, with regards to other types of survival games, um, uh, I used to be really um, active in Minecraft. I just like my own know, personal game. I, I really like the whole creativity aspect, the crafting. Uh, and yeah, I, I do want to get started on Subnautica soon because I kind of like the story behind it. Mm. And uh, yeah, but overall, with regards to survival, I think it's just um, the fact that you can basically go at your own pace. Yeah, <clears throat> no, that's. Yeah, that's a that's a good reason. I mean, that's it's, uh, that's I, I feel pretty much the same. You know, I like I like the the, the idea behind um, behind building at your own pace and not having to to rush through anything. Um, uh, that's that's obviously if I'm in the mood to because I, I I chop and change between games. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I sometimes like to play story driven games and then I play survival games and then I play story driven games and then survival games. So it all depends on how I feel on the day. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yeah, no, there is. It's a very interesting story in Ark. I mean, I think Kez and I'll probably play that at some point as well. Start jumping on that again. <laughs> Not before we fight, try and figure out what happened in Seven Days to Die. Because there's also a story there, so, but we don't know it yet. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, at least that's what Zappa says. There's, there's, there's actually a story to it. Um, and and if you get through it, you, you can get through it on the bare minimum. <laughs> Survival will be very difficult. <laughs> okay. Like, I went through. Um, so, uh, oh, this kind of comes to that other game that you mentioned, uh, uh, Genshin Impact. Um, so, Genshin, overall, it's a really beautiful game, uh, anime style as well. Um, and then the other games uh, that you saw me with, um, uh, that I took sort of like photos uh, in game was uh, Final Fantasy 15 and Horizon Zero Dawn. Hmm. Um, uh, I do have a lot of photos because those games come with a photo mode feature. When I saw that, I was like, I need to test this out. <laughs> and then I just couldn't stop. <laughs> and uh, yeah, since I uh, like. Uh, taking photos like in real life, um, I thought, no, let me see how how far I can push it in the game. Mm. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I mean, um, 
I've, to be honest, I've not known many people that would use photo mode in games. Um, that's just because, uh, uh, like, for me, it's a meh. <laughs> I mean, I don't really do it, so so uh, I've not really known many people who would do it. So it's actually interesting to see, to, to find out the, the reasoning behind wanting to actually take pictures in game and things like that. Um, because, like I said, for me, it's just the only time I ever take pictures literally was for Gran, Gran Turismo. And um, that was only because there were some really cool things that happened in certain races that I wanted a picture of. But otherwise, I didn't really do it. So, And I, I didn't understand the idea behind, you know, snapping pictures for, for games and things like that. But, you know, I suppose each, each to his own. You know, each person has their own view on, on how to play games and, and, or what they do in games. And, hey! <laughs> I'm, I don't judge. I don't judge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree because you know what? It's people like you who get really cool pictures of games. Um, so I would usually just run around going, hey! <laughs> I just take it from every direction just for the fun of it. <laughs> so I'd be I'd be a terrible photographer <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> mm, exactly, you know that's that's yeah. so so. People like yourself are the ones who who create really cool backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually ended up, especially for the pictures I took in Horizon Zero Dawn, I've actually made a few as my wallpaper. But uh, but yeah, that was a game that really um, got me hooked when I discovered that some games do have um, photo mode. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Genshin, it doesn't have that many features yet. Uh, I'm not sure how far they're going to develop it. But with Horizon Zero Dawn, you can even pose your pose the character uh, change the weather change the lighting Jeez. Um, uh, it had quite a number of effects on it so i was like i am gonna test as much as possible <laughs> um but yeah uh, ever since then i was whenever i do find a game with sort of like a photo mode kind of feature uh, I, I need to use it <laughs> <laughs> And for good reason. Because <laughs> mm. I mean, there are so many beautiful games, and like, um, like with Genshin, people are like, yeah, they like the uh, fight mechanics and like, uh, the game design and whatever. I'm just looking around the game and going, ooh, pretty. <laughs> 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 Sounds like Karen. <laughs> That's what she does. That is exactly what she does. Look how pretty! We'll be playing something where you're trying to get away from something and she'll stop to look at something. It's like, ooh, look at that! <laughs> like trampled by something. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's 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 how Kez works though. She's she's a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there are many people who do that. <laughs> like, oh, pretty flower. Next thing, you get a little screen text. You die. <laughs> yeah, it was like um, she 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 wanted to get um, was it. Darksiders. Um, she wanted to get the Darksiders collection, and then uh, we saw Dark Souls. Now I've always wanted Dark Souls because uh, uh, you know I played Bloodborne and I really enjoyed Bloodborne, so Dark Souls shouldn't be any different. She played the first part of it and she cucked. <laughs> she couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> she was like she was like I, I can't do this fuck that it's <laughs> too hard no <laughs> it's all right I'm gonna be playing it so no, I'll be the one throwing the hissy fits when I when I die and things like that because you know when I said to her, it's one of the hardest games in the world, are you sure you want to play it? And she's like, yes, absolutely, I want to play it. Mm. 
Because yeah, you know, Dark Siders is the 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 horseman of the the four horsemen of the of the apocalypse. I think that was yeah. Dark Siders. Yeah, yes, Dark Siders was that. Um, because she played one of them and she played as War. Oh, sorry, Dead. Um, she played the one that was Dead. Oh, yeah, War's the latest one, hey? I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> she played the second one with uh, with Dead. And um, she really enjoyed that game. I, I, I think it's quite a good game as well, to be honest. Um, just hang on, I'm going to make a bit of a noise here. Um, no, not yet. Uh, I think I got Darksiders 3 for free on the PlayStation Plus thing. <laughs> was it free uh, on PlayStation Plus? I don't know that. <laughs> uh, that was sometime last year and I still haven't had a chance to <laughs> play it. Um, but yeah, I've seen some gameplays. Uh, it really looks. Uh, it really looks good. So, mm. uh, really, um, just so many games out there. Just not sure when you where, where you're gonna get the time to play it all. <laughs> so many games, so little time to play them all. Do you have a game like that that has made you that angry that you just want to play it? Um, <laughs> not yet. Uh, but yeah, I I probably want to see how far I can push my patience with Dark Souls. Yeah, <laughs> 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 hey, you're gonna <laughs> cock, eh? <laughs> yeah. 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 See, that that's the thing. Like, no one has really seen me angry, so I'm gonna try and test a game that does kind of make people angry. Or lose Frustrate the people. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> let's let's see how I re- react to Dark Souls as soon as I can buy it. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting one to watch. <laughs> <laughs> to be oh, quite honest, uh, that is going to be an interesting one to watch. <laughs> uh, another interesting one. Um, I'm busy editing the the, the video. Um, I had a small session of phasmophobia uh, <laughs> earlier this year. Oh, yeah. um, so my sister would always complain whenever we were watching horror movies that there's no reaction from me like the whole family starts screaming or jumping and I'm the only one still sitting there like oh uh, she's probably going to have a good time watching the highlights from Phasmophobia because there was a point where I was scream- uh, screaming like a little girl <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we might just find that video and Pop it into to is it is it up already? Uh, no, no, no. So so busy editing. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to find that and put it on all of our social medias as well. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I will <clears throat> be sharing, saying like, hey, it's ready. Come see me scream like a girl. <laughs> so sorry. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it, but what? How did you feel with the the reception of it? I know it's like something so. <laughs> I, I saw it really funny when you guys rated each other at the same time. Because what the hell? How does that happen? So what was I, your feelings? Because we obviously saw on your actual ratings. Oh, um, yeah, unfortunately, um, when, as soon as Twitch does the, the rate, it like cuts the recording. Um, I wasn't uh, doing any like um, onboard recording from my side because I my PC can't really handle streaming and recording. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, didn't have any reaction there. Uh, but yeah, I was just like, wait, what's going on? Why is Tom? Because um, after you raid, you sort of move into like a host yeah. kind of mode, mm. right? Mm. So. Uh, I'm hosting Tom, he's busy screaming and laughing and we're like, oh yeah, why? And I'm like, just typing like, what's going on? Why, what happened? <laughs> uh, and then yeah, he explained the whole thing and uh, I checked out his part afterwards and I was like, I need to edit this and put this together <laughs> <laughs> from both perspectives. <laughs> Twitches. <laughs> The streamception. <laughs> well, that was very yeah, funny. But I doubt we can ever. And 
the the best thing was that you know it wasn't scripted <laughs> no <laughs> it didn't look scripted at all you could see it wasn't scripted <clears throat> Uh, but, but yeah, uh, I was. Excuse me. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Yeah, it's just <laughs> getting to that point where you can actually catch it. <laughs> um, you know, you play. I don't know how to say. I think it's ancient impact. Um, uh, I yeah. started playing it. Um, so, yeah, yeah, uh, actually there's, I think there's three, they even, there's, so they made like a Chinese version as well and the Japanese. Why not? Um, but yeah, uh, overall with the game, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I just I really admired like how well everything was designed, especially um, the, the characters, the, the amount of detail that they put into it, and also since it's in the anime style, well, what anime fan won't really uh, <laughs> try and play it out for a bit. Um, uh, I did kind of get tired of the whole gacha aspect like grinding to get those uh, gems in order to uh, see to get if you can pull <laughs> yeah and see if you can pull um, these characters that you're looking for or special items and whatnot um, and then also when they kind of started releasing like seasonal events um, I kind of lost track of it at some point as well because of work and then I kind of just gave up on it overall uh, for the past couple of weeks <laughs> uh, but I am planning to get back into it uh, story wise I I do kind of like where um, like how it started and how it's developing at the moment um, and I really do want to see where where it's going. Uh, but overall, uh, uh, I am I am enjoying it. on PS4. That's multi-platform. Um, I'll check now. Hang on. Joys of having or you know, being right on the coffee. Yeah, I can just look. Mm. And 
um, again with the design. Considering it's free, it's pretty well done. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so just getting onto the Wikipedia here. Okay, so the platforms are Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, Android OS, uh, Android iOS, uh, Nintendo Switch, and PS5. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Microsoft Windows will obviously fall under the, the Xbox side of things as well. I don't see why that wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense if that <laughs> that would just be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that would just be very stupid. Um, yeah. No, so so I mean, that's that, that's what we were talking about earlier. You were talking about well designed game for a free game. Um, I've noticed that a lot of the, the 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 new free MMOs that are coming out, they're they're actually starting to get really really good when it comes to to, to graphics and things like that. Um, I'm not starting to. They have been for a while though. That's the whole thing. Because I mean, you look at look at games like Warframe, for example. You know, free to play game, and it's epic. It's it's freaking awesome. And the thing is, you know where the guys from the, where these guys make their money. It's the same guys like I was telling you about New Frontier. We were talking about that earlier, um, and how how you know it's not. I mean, it's not Red Dead Redemption kind of graphics, but it's. It, 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 I've been playing it, and it's actually quite fun. Um, it's mainly an FPS, to, and from from what I can see, where you just jump on the horse, and then you can be seen from the other side. I think you can go third person, but that's that's neither here nor there. Um, but when I was looking at it, I looked at it from the the, the point of view is that the gameplay is 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 in my opinion more important than graphics it always has been and always will be that's exactly why I, I, I like playing things like Minecraft for example you know mm, yeah. Kez hates it she says it's stupid it, it's <laughs> I don't get it why? yeah it's like blocks she doesn't understand why it's pixelated blocks and that's what you know when I first played the game I was like you know I looked at it I was like oh Minecraft this looks so, this looks so lame and then I played it and I got hooked <laughs> I just I didn't know how but I just I got hooked and I think it's the the the, the um, sort of openness for crafting. Like, mm. how far can you go with your creativity? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, and that's it. You know, you, I mean, how far can you actually go? What can you actually design? I've seen some unbelievable designs out there. Someone built the HMS Victory. Someone actually built the HMS Victory. Um, which cool. is, uh, uh, I'm sure you know, it's a ship. Uh, it's, it's a, a wood ship from from the 1800s here in the UK. Um, it, it's impressive that they actually managed to build that out of blocks. <laughs> and it was, I mean, the guy put the sails down. The sails were actually there. Um, it was open sailed as well. He made two versions. He had one, them right next to each other. One was an open sail. The other one was a closed sail. It was amazing the kind of things these people can build and um it's like that's that's the reason why you do this kind of stuff you know minecraft is basically that kind of open-ended game um you get your other survival games that are different like you know you, you, where you can't do quite as much as that i mean um i think seven days to die is not one of those games because you can actually it's, it's quite an open-ended game as well but then you look at like um raft for example you can't you can't actually do some of the amazing things that you can do in like minecraft um, you can build some pretty hectic stuff. Yeah, I mean, there, there's some pretty awesome stuff that you can build. I mean, you can make your raft look like a ship if you want to. You know, it's not. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could. Um, so, so there, there is that as well, where you can actually do that, and that's something I'm planning on doing. I do, I do plan on building a, a raft that actually looks like a ship. Um, that's that's a, a future project, though. But that's that's neither here nor there again. Um, but w what we're talking about was actually about how the, the designer... See, this is me going off on a tangent. Um, <laughs> yes, ADD, guys, ADD. Yeah, that's that's my ADD, unfortunately. Uh, it's a good thing, though, when, you, when it comes to this. So we were actually talking about the graphics of games, which... Which is, yeah. you see, whenever I whenever I veer off, I, I always manage to get right back on the path again. <laughs> uh, I've never I've never veered off and not come back to what I was talking about. Yes, that's one thing I'm I'm very good at. But you, you look at the graphics of these games, these free to play games like Warframe, like New Frontier, and, and things like that, and it just it. It, it shows you that that free to play is it, you know where the guys are making their money. You know, um, the the companies that do well know what they're doing. 
um to give you an idea you know you look at your mmos like warframe and um and uh, 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 genshin um and and i mean yeah and i mean even even um uh guild wars you know uh kez and i started playing guild wars uh it is free to play <laughs> it is yes um but you can play guild wars for free and you know where the guys get their money from they get it from their expansions because you know kids and i buy the expansions for the games but you don't have to pay a monthly subscription they get their money from in-game purchases like stupid little little uh things that look pretty and all that but yeah <laughs> but they don't take your 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 power away so essentially if you're playing as a, a person who's playing free you know you're not going to you're not going to be limited to 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 uh what you can do in the game when it comes to playing pvp or uh pve or world versus world or anything you don't get limited they don't take that away from you because they understand that you know it's unfair and people will not play the game if there are, are people out there that are just stronger than them because they, they've got the money to pay for the game you know um and that's what i think is quite good is that they they actually that's how they make their money and that is impressive to me yeah, that's Lately, I have been going back to some old stuff, but uh, uh, I've been trying to catch up, or uh, well, uh, restart, and then also catch up on the 100 on Netflix. Uh, yeah. Um, never, never yeah. If if you like the whole post uh, post apocalyptic kind of. Um, uh, story um it uh, you might like it uh i just find it a little annoying with the whole back and forth of things just not going their way <laughs> um, yeah i'm trying really not to say much <laughs> but uh but yeah it's Spoilers. Uh, I, I do like the concept and my sister just finished watching the whole thing so i thought let me start it again because I think I only watched up until season three or mm. four, um, and then I, now it, it finished. Uh, the whole series has finished on season seven. So I thought, let me go back, start again, and then actually watch it right until the end. Um, other new things. Uh, I recently just caught up on Mandalorian season two. Um, yeah, I really, uh, I, I did like it, uh, but I feel like I didn't really sit down and actually pay proper attention to it because yeah, uh, I don't know. I just had so much going on in my life, and I just wanted to. So yeah, I watched it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, I, I get where you're coming from with the Mandalorian. I mean, it's it's a it's a watch once and you don't really have to go back to it. Um, it's not like watching, you know, the first three Star Wars. That that those will always be my ultimates. But it's not something that you have to go back to. You know, you can watch it once and it's like okay, I'm there. And and to be honest there's nothing else on disney that kids and i are, are even vaguely interested in so we actually cancelled our disney plus <laughs> well they cancelled actually because i don't think it's too much more yeah the fox room oh that probably Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it, it was it, 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 
it just didn't seem useful to actually have it. I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, I'll I'll just get that on 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 Blu-ray. Uh, I don't need to own. I don't need to pay a subscription for, you know, a couple of movies when I can just buy them on Blu-ray. It's pointless. Um, and yeah, that's just we decided no, it's, Disney's just not worth our time. You know, <laughs> anything that we actually do want, we can just get from from the stores here. We'll just buy the hard copies of them and we'll be fine. We don't. It's like Netflix has something on and then removes it. Amazon has something on and then removes it. And the things that I enjoy watching, it's like you know what? Well, screw you. If you're gonna take it away, then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go buy them on DVD or something. So I don't. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, because then you you can't take it away from me. Ha ha, fucking ha. <laughs> yeah, like uh, the other day, I actually wanted to go back and rewatch um, Lord of the Rings on Netflix, and then I found it's not It's all gone. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, why I'm looking at getting all the Star Treks. Um, okay, except Discovery and <laughs> Picard. I didn't like those. Um, I just I didn't like them. They they were boring. And and uh. Uh, the the movies I did watch. Mm. Uh, I can't remember if I watched all the 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 recent ones like like the last two. I did watch. The first one, and what was the second movie? Uh, Into Darkness. Mm. Or was the third one after that? Yeah, yeah, it was Beyond. Beyond really wasn't that good, hey. Um, that was probably the worst of all of the the the, the, the um, Rian Johnson movies. Uh, I can't remember if I did watch it, but maybe that's how bad it was. I watched it and I don't remember. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah now you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of Ryan Johnson's, you know, the way he does movies. Uh, the, the, you know, Bad Bad Robot is not not very very good. I don't think I like. I mean, I've, anything that they've made has been terrible, actually. <laughs> you know, they they mainly reboot things and they do it so badly that you just you don't want to watch it anymore. You know, and um, so. Yeah, the, 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 that's how, how at least I feel when it comes to watching things. You know, I'd, there are certain things that I will not watch um, because that it, it doesn't it doesn't reflect well on on what I I I watch is essentially. You know, uh, like I said, when I when I grew up watching things like Star Trek: Deep Space Nine. Buffy, yeah, I loved Buffy. Buffy is epic, dude. I I still dig Buffy. Um, yeah, we're rewatching it. <laughs> but um, uh, I watched. I mean, we, uh, back when I was a child, the the first thing that got me into, for example, Star Trek. I mean, clearly, I'm, I'm a big Star Trek fan, as you can see. I mean, <laughs> um, but I, I watched The Next Generation, and since then, I'd always been. I'd loved Star Trek. It was awesome. So I watched The Next Generation. I watched Deep Space Nine. I watched Voyager. I watched Enterprise. I watched all of them, and I loved all of them. There were there were some crappy episodes. You know, not all of them are great, but um, you know, w w with those crappy episodes, it was still you know you watch them and you can actually relate to the stories because what I loved about Star Trek was each episode was was its own story it was like this basically there was no there was no um okay well this episode basically builds up to to builds up everything as you move through the series you know and then you have to watch episode after episode to see what happens next i don't yeah. like that i don't like that about star trek star trek was always that one episode maybe two episodes and a story arc that would be there in the background but you really wouldn't pay much attention to it because until it actually came up like the borg for example which was a recurring thing through star trek um but but that kind of stuff was it was back end stuff you know you'd have a main story and then something about the borg would, would come in but that wouldn't play a part in the main episode and that was what i liked about star trek then came discovery <laughs> yeah i remember you talked about that yeah, yeah. So when and then came Picard. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, Mr. Bond. Think, uh, oh, um, there was a game that a friend of mine was talking to me about the other day. Um, we're going to try out the. Well, I've already tried out a bit of the, the demo. Um, 
Outriders. I've heard about it. Yeah. I've um, heard about it. Actually. So so far, based on the demo, uh, I don't have anything else yet. But based on the demo that I played so far, uh, a group of humans left Earth because, like, basically it was dying out. Everyone was just killing each other. Uh, wanted to sort of. Uh, have a fresh beginning. They find the planet and then somehow this Nuji storm or an anomaly that they, that's how they refer it to, um, basically altered some of the people who got affected by it. So it Um, I'm not sure how far or like where the story is going at the moment, uh, but uh, design-wise, it, it looks amazing. And uh, yeah, it's another pretty game. But um, yeah, they didn't put in a photo mode, unfortunately, so I won't get too distracted with that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I'll, 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 look for, I'll look for that key binding. <laughs> um, and then apparently there is a co-op feature on it as well. Mm -hmm. um, it so, yeah. It's something that we're going to try and test out um, probably later today or sometime next week. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, but it's uh, one of those um, FPS kind of games. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, just wanted to try and uh, sort of, how do you say, uh, change of pace, because uh, for the past couple of months all I've been playing is survival games, and uh, mm. as much as I love them, uh, maybe uh, I was thinking, let me try something that's a little more fast-paced. Yeah. Maybe not for the stream, but uh, just just for yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's good to change Z. Yeah, because I well, I'm looking at some of the reviews here. Um, it's, it's 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 quite funny when when companies like PC Gamer, IGN, and Games Radar, you know, all of those companies, when they say it's a bad game, go buy it. Seriously, if they say it's bad, buy it because I can tell you now, the audience doesn't think so. <laughs> because from what I can see, the audience reviews are basically on four stars. So it's 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 a good game. You know, <laughs> but when 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 the 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 top games journalist companies go and say, "Don't buy this game. It's stupid. You don't want to buy it. It's boring. Buy it because the chances are you'll enjoy it." That, that's how I see it. You know, the 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 chances are you will actually enjoy the game. Um, it's happened so many times with games that I've bought where where everyone said, "Oh, it's a crap game. Uh, you shouldn't buy it. Oh, it's blah, blah, blah. and then it's actually a good game." You know, a um, perfect, perfect example would be Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> Everyone was like, "Oh, it's such a bad game!" All these, all these journalists were like, "Oh, it's such a bad game! Look at it. it's terrible!" I played it. And I was like, "Damn, this is a good game." <laughs> so, not even close. <laughs> yeah. Oh, graphically, graphically, yes, graphically, it, it, it does have that 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 feel, but um, gameplay-wise, holy crap! 
you you shit yourself um you actually have to train and practice and practice because you can't just go in and the first person you fight is a big dragon and you'll survive you know you the first person you fight you'll punch him and he'll probably beat the fuck out of you <laughs> that's the truth and it happened i played the game and that guy beat the crap out of me i didn't know how to how to beat him and then i'm, I'm looking I'm, I'm seeing i'm checking him, how do you how do you do this how do you get past this and they say you can't <laughs> level up you're not going to get anywhere until you level up <laughs> Then but anyway, it yes, <laughs> it, it's it is, but it's it's actually very well made. It, it just the thing is, it teaches you how to. It, it shows you what it was like back in those days. You know, it's 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 sort of historically accurate. When I say sort of, I mean, you know, you've got healing cells and stuff like that that suddenly make you better and things. So it's not exactly true, but it's 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 on par with history. It actually is teaching you about the history of um, I forget the country. Uh, it's Bohemia, essentially. Um, but it's teaching you the history of Bohemia, which is actually it's really awesome. I, I think it was it was so well done. Um, so yeah, ever want to play a good game that that teaches you some history? Kingdom Come Deliverance, good game. Looking at it now, really looks like a another beautifully made game. Epic mm. uh, adventure. It does, and it's actually it's. It's actually, you, you'll be surprised, dude. You will get taken off track so quickly. I have literally, uh, the things like, I, I'm supposed to be training to get my sword, swordsmanship up and all of that. You know what I'm doing? Nope, no. Nope. There I am. I'm sitting there looking at the flowers and I'm busy walking around the forest. It's like, dude, you actually get in, you get entrapped in the game. It's insane how, how much you get trapped in the game you you're 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 you'll literally go walking around the forest and you can sit there for hours just walking around the forest granted there are bandits and stuff so you have to be careful and they will beat the crap out of you if you're not prepared so you have to have your armor ready and all that but at the end of the day it's 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 a very well designed game you will actually if if ever you wanted to play a game and I, as far as i know there's a photo mode in it um I, i've never used it but apparently there i think there is a photo mode let me just double check that quickly I'm gonna just double check. Not right. really. uh, well, well, oddly enough, Comic Con Cape Town is still making announcements and saying that they will have like a physical con. Like they even already published dates, but with the way things are, they may have to cancel again based on um, last year. Nah, um, sadly it doesn't. I'm sorry. Hmm. I was fine. wrong. I'll just, I'll, I'll figure out a way. <laughs> PlayStation <laughs> button. <laughs> the, there's a the 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 share yeah. button. Just yeah, hit that. that. Yeah, the, it's the a good photo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's it's been a bit rough not um, being able to really see anyone. Mm. Um, maybe I have bumped into well, not really bumped into. <laughs> um, Careful, the government's gonna arrest you if you say you bumped into someone, dude. <laughs> that you're not keeping your distance. Social distancing. Social distancing. <laughs> Um, but I have met up with um, some of the guys with like individually or, or like small groups like maybe four stuff like that uh, yeah, it's nice to actually see familiar faces again but uh, yeah I'm, I'm really uh, I'm, I'm really craving for the whole <laughs> convention um, I guess you can say like convention adrenaline or whatever you yeah. like to What were you laughing at? Oh, yes. <laughs> you need to feel that oh, I just want to sleep for days and days and days so I'm running around and getting more Most of all, I'm just a bit miss hanging out with all the rest of the, the content creators and all the crew that we normally run into at all the, yes, the festivals. Well. 
Yeah. Not that we'll be able to do it for a very long time because we have to travel all the way back to South Africa. <laughs> mm. Mm. And some festivals to actually come so that we can, we can yes. actually go down and visit. <laughs> and then uh, some of us were saying, uh, I think even Jonathan was mentioning it, uh, once conventions do come back, just don't have one that's like one right after the other like what Comic Con and Rage do um, she's like yeah that, that exhausts you fast eh? <laughs> holy crap does that only make you tired quickly mm. <laughs> yeah once but then and, when, it's, when it happens again <laughs> uh, and you're sort of prepared like you guys have been going for your uh, walks or has that changed as well yeah, no, we are. We're, and uh, as soon as we can, we'll actually go out and explore Scotland a bit as well. Mm. So, yeah, you you guys may be a little bit more prepared than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because, yeah, you know, we can we can actually walk around, you know, the crime rate in this country is... is, is... <laughs> and, and also... Mm, and also, like, the, the areas that you're staying in, they look great. Like, mm. <laughs> you'd want to be outside. Yeah. yeah. It is. Uh, except when it's freezing. Uh, if yeah. it's freezing cold, <laughs> you don't really want to go outside. Uh, you just want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The best is case of sliding snow, Angel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told her not to do it on the hill. She didn't listen to me. <laughs> yeah, it's fun and it made people smile. So that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's it, it, look. It is a stunning. It, it, this this town that we're in at the moment is actually a very stunning town. Um, it, it, we're we're obviously the, the 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 we're fortunate here because we can we haven't ever purchased a house before. So um, our first house is going to they're they're doing this whole first home purchases and stuff like that, and they're going to try and help uh, help people like ourselves who who buy who are buying houses for the first time. They're going to try and bring the mortgage down to like 5% or the deposit deposit down to like 5%. So you only have to have a 5% deposit to purchase a house. You don't have to have that 10% or 15% deposit. It was actually 15% at one point. And um, oh, wow. I think it's finally gone down to 10. Yeah, and April or May it's going down. Apparently the government's bringing it down to 5%. So... It's going to help us a lot to purchase a house, um, which means we'll be able to actually buy a house uh, rather than, than waiting on, on, on uh, uh, waiting for a long period of time. We'll actually be able to buy a house soon. So as soon as our cats are over, we're going to start the saving for, for the house. Uh, oh, okay. The process. Wow. And they're, they're doing this for all first-time first time buyers. Yeah, for all first first time home buyers, essentially, it's it's the the the, the whole the whole it's kind of spiel. Like an yeah, essentially, the thing is, uh, the reason why they do it is because it helps the economy. Um, you buy a house, you are actually helping because you've got a mortgage. You're helping the economy to actually keep keep up here yeah, rather than just suddenly shooting down. Um, so the, the 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 government actually has those incentives in place so that they can help the economy go up constantly instead of like going down, you know. And that that I do like because that means that we can actually purchase a house easily. And then uh, when we do decide to, if we would decide to move, we can actually find another house and sell that one at a profit and so on and so forth. It's actually it's very helpful, but it's it's good incentives like that that they actually do. Which, which um, um, I'm quite, I, 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 I quite like because it means that we can actually live. But I mean, anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you do you guys have cars? Uh, that's like, or cars. Is like, um, yeah. convention. Yeah. Oh, oh cons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, maybe it's my accent. <laughs> Same as you guys, everything is just a bunch of stuff. Mm. Oh. Yeah, there's Comic Con Scotland. Um, they actually have Comic Cons in each little town. Well, well little town. Mini 
Yeah, they've got. They they actually had a comic con at uh, in the town that uh, where where we used to stay. Not the town. The the well the town, but uh, in, in the town of Kilmonic, they actually had a, a, a comic con there. But um, I believe they're going to have a comic con Glasgow and a comic con um, Edinburgh, and uh, then they've got the that other one that that Liz told us to go to. Um, but it's down in England, so we'll have to travel down to England to go and to go and do that. But the cons all over the place in this country, so it's quite cool, you know. You can go and have a schwiz at all that stuff. And and I can go to Rockstar if I want to. I can just go to the Rockstar buildings because they're in Edinburgh. <laughs> yeah, you know that, that that Rockstar's head office is in is in uh, Edinburgh, right? <laughs> so, so I can go and visit Rockstar if I want to. I don't see why I would want to. But, you know, <laughs> Andrew, there's some games that Rockstar made that you would actually play, like Max Payne. <laughs> so, so be careful. Rockstar does actually make some good games. <laughs> I never said that they're good. No, well, that's because you only know the GTAs and the Red Dead Redemptions. There are other games that they made. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Is there anything else? Let me see. He's got his questions loaded. <laughs> no, um, I couldn't really um, think of topics. Oh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe this one with regards to. So I guess this will co sort of cover like. Um, gaming and uh content creators did were you guys aware of that rough no not rough um rust server where they invited like 50 plus uh content creators no. to play together no i don't remember that <laughs> oh, okay. when did this happen <laughs> um, it's although i don't own rust time. so no, I also don't own it, um, but I was just, there were some like streamers and YouTubers that um, that I follow that were invited um, into the server. Uh, okay. So, uh, one guy, um, I think he was a content creator and a one of the developers for Rust. So he decided to set up a private server and then invited 50, um, I think eventually became more than 50, so 50 plus uh, YouTubers, uh, streamers, just to come in, uh, meet up, play together, um, considering, you know, with lockdown you can't really go out and whatever. Uh, and it would, the chaos was quite interesting. <laughs> Um, but uh, but I really like the aspect that um, some of them they didn't even know each other. They only met during this this time that the server was open, and they were just having a ball. Oh, that is that's actually really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and even started making uh, custom skins for certain items for each. Okay, I don't know if it was each. Um, content creator but maybe depending on the content creator um, like for Jacksepticeye um, they created a skin for um, storage chests which uh, was basically like this um, neon green um, pattern and the septic sand like right in the middle mm. that's pretty cool it is mm. yeah jeez people should then, do stuff like that more often mm. yeah, yeah they, they should. should and especially like uh, in a local region if if uh, we can maybe 
let's take it out from the side or I don't know because uh, it wasn't always for, um, I don't think all the players were the well, majority of them were from like um, America and then there were a handful that were from the Europe side of things I think there were a couple from Australia as well uh, yeah, it, it was it was kind of interesting how all of them just got together and somehow just uh, uh, sort of blending together. They they even um, decided where at some point they had to split the server or we'll make a second one. One was basically PvP style. And the second, the new one that they were making was based uh, like a, a role playing style that they had. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so um, a couple of streamers even uh, uh, teamed up. They set up like a. Um, so in Rust, you can, at some point you can build cars. Um, so they sort of set up like a car dealership. So instead of people, <laughs> <laughs> so instead of people actually going out and then riding to level and then get the skills to eventually craft the car, they just like trade with those people that built the car dealership and there yeah, you have the car. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. No, the idea behind it is actually quite, quite nice. I mean, um, exactly, yeah. You make new friends and you might find someone that lives. This is literally just something there, but you might find someone that lives down the road from you or in the same neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then there were even clips going around um, where uh, Jack Sepikai was throwing out some Korean words or phrases, and then people, and then the, and he was doing it around people that can either speak Korean or are Korean, and then just all of their reactions like, what? You speak Korean? What? Now say this, or like, can you then? Then they started having these minor conversations, which was also a nice um, interaction. Like, uh, instead of thinking of oh, Jack Septica is Irish, let him mm. uh, uh, converse with all the Irish lads or whatever. Mm. Um, he threw out something in Korean, and then some Korean content eventually got built up from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I don't know how much it would cost to have something like that set up, but uh, I would like to see something like that set up one day. Well, you can always make the plan and find mm. out and mm. get everyone together. I mean, there is the, the awesome thing that they can do. Okay, this is the plan. You can always make it happen. Yeah, yeah. sponsor yeah. us. <laughs> Definitely. I'll, 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 I'll actually think about that. It is obviously easy and it is accessible. Not accessible, but the game that everyone can get. Mm, even yeah. then, um, if you say to people, oh, this is our idea, they're not actually going to get it and think about it because they want to get it. Yeah. So that's what's great. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then I think after that, um, eventually the collaborations that uh, sort of came afterwards, um, the same people that they teamed up with. Mm. Yeah, I can't remember if this was if the Rust server was before or after um, the whole boom with Among Us. No, I think it was after. But yeah, mm -hmm. even after um, Rust, uh, 
uh, some of the streamers I saw them they, they interacted with that person in Rust. Now they've actually done a few collabs on other games afterwards as well. Yeah. No, I'm not yawning because I'm bored. I'm tired. <laughs> it's one of those days. <laughs> Half past one. <laughs> Half past one is mine. She says. <laughs> yeah, she went to bed early because her head was sore, which is fine. I mean, I, I just played until I was one. Enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else? Um, no. Uh, that's, that's all from my side. <laughs> right, so, Uh, okay, so um, for your brain, uh, I'm basically on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, oh, and uh, TikTok, though I'm not as active there anymore. <laughs> um, uh, my main thing is basically uh, geeky content, so on my YouTube, I've been posting uh, recently gameplay videos but uh, before the whole lockdown I had videos for, uh, where we went to geek, uh, like conventions like Comic Con uh, and other locally um, hosted conventions here in South Africa uh, and then Instagram a lot of uh, picture sharing or clips <laughs> And uh, you so on YouTube you'll find me as uh, Queer's Corner, and everywhere else you'll find me as Queer Bray. There you go. Uh, Kez will post all of this uh, for those of you who are listening on the podcast. Uh, you might want to just spell Queer Bray out for them. Oh, um, K U Y A B R A Y E. There you go. And if you. Yeah, so we'll be in the title. So just in case you 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 don't you aren't able to or you're not paying uh, that much attention or you're driving, uh, you can you can always just uh, look at the name in the the, the the podcast later and pick or look at the podcast later and find from there. But yes, for those of you listening, I've, if I did make any any gestures, you won't have seen them. But um, I don't normally make gestures anyway. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, it, 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 so those are all the places you can find Mr. Kuya Bray himself. Kuya, thank you so much for joining us. It's been epically, wonderfully awesome um, to to have a, a, a sit down and a chat with another content creator. Because you know us, we're we're always trying to speak to our friends who are the con- who are content creators as well. But we also like to bring other content creators on. So. Um, yeah, exactly. There you go. Thank you guys for having me. Ah, it's more than a pleasure. Thank you so much for being with us, and on such short notice, actually coming through and doing this, uh, it's it's been it's been awesome. We need, we, we, thanks to you, we can actually get this podcast up. So we're very happy about that. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, Kuya, you are the savior. Everyone bow. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that. Uh, that subscribe button you can even try and hit the bell notification it doesn't do anything but you can try um thank you for listening on the podcast guys you guys have been really awesome you guys know where to follow us because you're watching us right now so i don't need to say where you can follow us but if you haven't followed us on all the other social medias we are all over the place uh we're even on alt so you can find us there too we're everywhere and nowhere at the same time <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us, guys. It's been wonderful, and we'll see you again on the next podcast. Once again, thanks, guys. And as always, remember, for those of you who are listening, you're not going to see this. Keep it geeky!